Hey guys, it's Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Balloonorama. Today, we're going to the third world, and it's the most heinous and evil world of them all. It's Mr. Firebird's factory. Let's get moving, Pep. Really, Mr. Firebird, you're starting with a heart? I don't think so. And yes, yeah, you'll see, this is not the Time Machine Factory from Papa Travels Through Time, but rather the Fireworks Factory from Papa Goes to the Moon. But that's because Balloonorama came out before Papa Travels Through Time. I played those out of order. Whoops. I don't know why, but I felt like Papa Travels Through Time come, takes place like literally right after uh, Papa Saves the Zoo. Love the futuristic techno music. Well done, Pep. Nice little fanfare. Come on, it's time to do some more popping. <laughs> All right, what's this have? Oh, it's space helmet. Yes, you can take the space helmet outside of the bonus stages. That'll help me with the candy. Unfortunately, this is also the space helmet is not speedrun friendly. I don't know anybody who's trying to speedrun Balloonorama, but it could be a thing. There could be some interesting speedrun strats. Pep, you're going the wrong way. The Walmart mascots are this way. Pep, you keep missing it. Thank you. I should not have gotten the space helmet. Oh, here introduces the next gimmick. Get moving, Pep. Those striped balloons. They're the opposite of the polka dot balloons, because if you pop them... They don't spew candy, no sir, they spew something much worse. They spit garbage at you. If you catch the garbage by mistake, you actually lose 50 points. On some levels, if you're not, like, hardcore trying to get a super good high score, it's probably actually best to just catch the garbage, rather than drop pep. And I just realized, when Pep... When Pep gets the space helmet, all of the candy and garbage falls slower. Much like the aliens on the bonus stage. So apparently Pep's space helmet just, like, lowers the Earth's gravity or something. Oh, this is... A, if you can get in the middle... Oh man, can you get an amazing combo. Yeah, if you can drop Pep in the middle, like, oh, the combo you get will just be so good. No, Pep, you're supposed to go in farther than that. Dog bone, I will take it. Oh, goodbye. I am fine with losing that space helmet. Best power up is Stretch Limo Putt Putt, obviously. Or actually, no. There's a better power up than Stretch Limo Putt Putt, and it it lets you combo so hard. That sounded weird. It lets you combo really easily and really well. And we will be encountering it later in the game, maybe next world. Oh boy, it's level 25. Time for the first bonus level of the fireworks factory. Get out of here, monkeys. Eh. Try to pop the candy balloons first, so that way you can actually catch the candy they drop. Beam, 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 beam,
Darn it. When it's a level where the uh, spaceship doesn't appear until after you pop the last balloon, it's almost impossible to actually get it. Does this have what I think it has? Oh, it's just an extra pep. I'll take it. Just off the top of my head, there are at least three power-ups, or not three, at least two power-ups we have not seen yet. And they're both pretty good. And Pep's like, pop Pod, are you, gonna, are you gonna catch me? Or are you more interested in getting candy? I can do both, Pep. Oh, no. Come on, let's do it! <laughs> I didn't think I dropped Pep. Oh, well. That's what happens if you drop Pep. You'll notice my lives went down from 7 to 6. Sorry, Pep, I just really didn't want a banana peel in my caboose. Well, this seems pretty easy. I wonder how long it took the designers to make all these levels, because some of them are really simple, but they still do have some artistic talent to them. Nope, no five coin. Yeah, the combo in order goes just normal, two coin, five coin, dog bone, butterfly, sun, confetti. And the confetti is amazing. Ooh, yeah, the beach ball balloons. Those just look cool. Oh, oh, does this have what I think it has? Oh, stretch limo putt putt, sweet. Hoping for one of the new power ups, but beggars can't be choosers. I am perfectly happy with stretch limo putt putt. Come on, Pep! We're going to the prom! I just realized, does Cartown have a prom? Does Cartown have... This? Well, obviously Cartown has a school. We see that at the end of Travels Through Time, but... We don't know where its location is in the town, which is a little odd. We know where the library is in Papa and Enders the Race, but... Not the school, oh boy. I want a combo! And I got a combo. Yes, please. That was nowhere near as big of a combo as I wanted. Oh no! Ready to pop some more balloons, Pep? The edge of Puppet's car has some a, a little wonky collision detection. I want to stretch from a Puppet, no! Wow, Pep, that was really high. And remember, these are the easy levels. Like, these levels are not difficult to beat. The levels don't start getting hard till you get to level 61, I believe? That's when the game starts pulling out all the stops. <laughs> well, some of the stops. Pep? The goal of the game is to pop the balloons, not avoid them. There we go, good boy. Man, Mr. Firebird's factory is a lot bigger than I remember, Pep. We've been through ten rooms that all look exactly the same. Man in the Moon's Balloons. Come on, Pep, you can pop harder than that. Wow, that was the spaceship that appeared early. We're going to space! In this game, it's definitely hard to get all of the bonus levels. In the others, the uh, junior arcades, not so much. Particularly the other two that I'm very interested in Let's Playing, which for those of you who don't know are Dog on a Stick and Maze Madness. Darn it! In my defense, I am playing with a trackpad, which makes it a bit hard to steer. 
Especially when Pep hits a balloon that's like right above your car and falls like a brick to the ground. Go get it, boy. Ready for space! Bonus level. Oh, those ships are not happy to see us. That's sad. <sighs> Almost ended the bonus level right then and there. Also, the game can only have so many sprites on screen at a time, so if you get too high of a combo on the spaceships, not as many aliens are going to appear as you're hoping for. And that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Vardy. The next world, I think it's going to, like this one, is going to be quite familiar to people who have been following my channel. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless. Go pop some balloons. <laughs>